Hi everyone! In this video I show you how I draw a female portrait from sketch to final and I also share with you some art tips how to optimize your work on a project in Procreate and I hope some information from this video will be new for you and useful. I chose this reference with this bright red haired girl. I pay attention to the tilts and also want to draw this bright sunlight. Any illustration begins with a sketch. That is exactly what I am doing in this stage. I draw a dirty sketch, convey the first impression and look for shapes. When I draw a sketch, I think about how I will stylize this portrait. First, I drew the base and yes, I didn't build according to the rules. Then, on this basis, I draw the details. Often, after this stage, I move straight to coloring, especially if it's just a drawing for practice. Afterward, I draw the line and then work with it. This layer will be the topmost layer with an opacity of 10. Next, I fill the form with the overall color of the skin. This will be my base on which I will apply all other layers. I turn off the top layer with the line and check the fill. If I didn't draw somewhere or I don't like how it turned out, I correct it. Next, the not most interesting stages are the feeling of individual elements such as hair, eyes, clothes. At the same time, I look at the silhouettes and immediately clarify their shape. I also add line to such parts of the face as the nose and ears. I lighten lower part of the face a little to separate it from the neck. Then I darken areas on the skin and hair based on the reference. The main parts of the face where the capillaries are located close to the skin are the nose, ears, cheeks. I make them redder. I'm using the blend Multiply and Pasty 20. I like to use the texture brush for this. After this, I work on the darker areas of the hair, thereby adding depth to them. Most often I also add light strands of hair, but this time I decided not to do it. The next layer is a general shadow. Since the light comes from the side of the left and is a warm light, the whole girl is in shadow. Using a cool shade, I feel the layer. But since there are lighter areas in the portrait, I apply a mask to the layer with the shadow and on the mask layer I remove the shadow from these places with a soft brush.
Next I paint the light where it is on the photo, thus I work closely with the reference, this is one of my favorite stages in stylizing. My style is not super voluminous, but not flat either, therefore I don't skip the stages of working with volume through light and shadow. With lights work already looks different, the atmosphere is immediately added and thus we provide even more information for the viewer. I draw large spots of light and then use an eraser to give them shape. to add cute freckles to our girl's face. I use a standard Procreate brush, first I draw large spots and then I remove freckles from those places where I don't want them to be and add smaller ones that didn't work out with a white brush. Also, I didn't show it in this video, but I drew falling shadows from the hair on the body, from the nose on the face, from the eyelids on the eyes and from the earrings on the hair. At the end, I show you what colors and which opacity I used for shadows and highlights. Now is the time to like my video, write a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.